Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is the part 5 on nanomaterials and application solution on the question 2021. Today, I want to discuss question number 11 and 12. You can see that total question paper that is question number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, this is the last part here we want to discuss question number 11 and 12 and the previous lecture already discussed if you want to go through the description box first question 11 question number 11 say what are the reason of surface defect in nanofilm that means when the nanofilm are generated by different process chemical or physical deposition process uh, there is a surface defect arises so surface defect arises due to our different uh, causes there are different grains are originated and at the at the interface of the grain there is a grain boundary and there is a surface defect arises if there is two uh, boundaries two boundaries are uh, twin boundaries uh, at the edge of the twin boundary also surface defect arises and stacking fall that is the one layer by one layer when generated by deposition system uh, between the layers there is one layer which is incomplete this is called stacking fault and this also makes the surface defect so these are the causes for which the surface defect arises okay for note you can make this screenshot or you can write down this uh, for your exam purpose also discuss is effect on electronic con con uh, conduction when the electron are conduct uh, actually uh, on the surface of the material you know the skin depth uh, actually is very less that's when the electron actually move on the surface the surface of the material or conductor because here the surface are defected the electron motion is not smoothly they are resist that means conductivity reduce in general this is the general that is when the surface are defected the electron motion is restricted the reduce the conductivity but uh, in some case, special cases, suppose oxygen vacancy or others phenomena, uh, it, it helps to conductivity. So, some defects also helps the conductivity. This is special cases. Okay. Next is the what are the different information of a nanocrystal we can extract from the study of its absorption spectrum that's mean when you get the absorption spectra during the optical measurement of the sample or nano film you what information actually you gather from this absorption spectra there are various information actually gather mostly effective information is the chemical composition of this material from the absorption spectra you can easily determine the chemical composition of this material that's mean you can analyze chemical analysis mean chemical compositions that is the which components are exist within this material and for remote sensing that's mean without bringing the sample you can detect where the samples are hazards or not okay and also you can get the information about the band structure optical band structure electrical band structure information also observed from the absorption spectra so these are the extracted from the absorption spectrum. Next is what do you mean by understand photoluminance. Photoluminance means when the uh, material are excited by electronic state, it ejects some lights. It's called photoluminance, and its use is to uh, fluorescence or phosphorescence are obtained from the photoluminance spectrum. Exciton, you know the exciton is that when the energy incident on the semiconductor, they are generated electron hole pair. Generally, these two are free to each other. Generally, these two are free to each other. But some cases, this electron hole pair, as a pair, they move together. This is called exciton. And these are stable because at the, they are Coulomb interaction actually um, uh, taking together these two particle make a single thing that is the exciton okay there are two types of exciton that is owner mode and frankly exciton uh, this is owner mode exciton there is a cloud of negative and there is a cloud of positive so there is large size but in a small size frankly uh, exciton also 
originated okay so when are not generally occur in the dialect uh, semiconductor with high optical dielectric constant and frankel generally occur in insulator ONR mod exciton has much larger exciton radius. You can see here the radius of the ONR mod is larger than the Frankel. And uh, typical binding energy of ONR is of the order milli electron volt, but in Frankel, this is large. This is small binding energy, this is large binding energy. And the ONR mod exciton can describe by the hydrogen model, but Frankel is tight bonding. Bonding, this binding energy is higher, so it cannot. Uh, described by hydrogen model. Owner mode exciton is observed in inorganic semiconducting material. Frankel exciton is typically alkali halide crystal. So these are the basic difference. Next we discuss the use of ion beam lithography in the nanofabrication. Lithography means photolithography, electron beam lithography, ion beam lithography. All these things is this eject the, this uh, signal on the material and using there is a mask you can fabricate different nanostructure. This is the basic thing. The difference is the source. Source will be X-ray or the light, photon or the electron or the ion. In compared to the electron, ions is larger momentum, so the depth will be higher. And it can use the you can see the difference right down here. Uh, the uh, reduced scattering, the scattering is lower, radiation uh, is lower, least diffraction, etc. So this is the more effective than electron beam. This is the lithography uh, just chaotic diagram. This is the mass. According to the mass, the fabrication will be like that. Uh, in case of photolithography, you know that is the positive negative resistance like that. But here the ions are ejected here and make the dip here. So these are the answers of these two questions. So this is all about me this is my contact this is my youtube channel it is and uh, that's it for today thank you we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you